Really encouraging to see progress in the metro area, but there is growing concern for people in rural parts of our state. People far from Denver simply don't have quick access to a major provider. Tonight, Karen Morfitt shows us what they're up against trying to get vaccinated. The smaller county officials that I spoke with say they're doing fairly well when it comes to getting shots in the arm, and that's likely because they have fewer people. It's those middle sized rural counties that seem to be having more issues, and the state says they plan to focus more attention in those areas. In Dolores County, Keith Kiesling is the emergency manager. He's been dealing with all things COVID for nearly a year. We're about as remote from Denver as you can get in the state. Vaccines are just the latest in navigating where his county of 2,000 people fits in. Right now, he says they've been successful. The minimum shipment of vaccine that comes to a county is a um, 100-dose box, um, which is what we get. Um, but it works well with 2,000 people. Um, larger rural counties and larger counties in general may have a million people and the way that the metrics work for how many vaccines they get, they may only get enough vaccines for say 1% of their county. But there are areas in Colorado that the governor says will have fewer vaccine providers and more restricted access to the vaccine. The state has now launched a team of health professionals to target those areas. We're making a deliberate effort to really meet Coloradans in communities where they live. We partnered with community organizations uh, already to stand up drive through uh, community vaccination clinics. We're going to do more and more. At the end of the day, Kiesling says it comes down to making the most out of what they have. We do what we have to do. One of the only obstacles Dolores County and some of the other smaller counties say that they have run into is that they can only use one type of vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, because of the more strict requirements for storage when it comes to the Pfizer vaccine. In Wheat Ridge, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.